Hello everybody, Spider here, the Coming Soon Podcast, of course, being joined by Beatrice. How are you today? Of course, we are here in San Antonio, Texas. I, I always ask everybody, because I've been doing this for quite a bit, uh, San Antonio, is this the first time you've been here? 100% first time, yeah. And, I mean, not being, or, have you ever been to Texas? Let me ask you that. This is my second time in Texas. My very first time was last year at a convention, a, a, a Comic-Con in Big Springs. Oh, okay. Texas. That was my very first time in Texas. So. Okay. And the, the reason I ask that is uh, when you hear San Antonio, what's the first thing that popped in your head? The Alamo. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, that, that's always <laughs> got to be a first. And, uh, I mean, obviously you haven't been to the Alamo. Um, are you going to be able to hang out here for the weekend, uh, after the weekend? After the weekend, no. We fly back on Monday, so I wish I had more time, though. I'd love to see stuff here. No, oh, yeah, for sure. Here. I mean, especially downtown. I mean, it is a tourist attraction, but there is so much to see down there. And, I mean, definitely invite you to come back and uh, enjoy all that because there is a lot of scenery, so yeah, for I'd sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and of course, uh, earlier we were talking, I mean, you actually stayed uh, at home, I mean, which is New York. Um, you traveled all over the world. I mean, why, why home, though? Is it, I mean, of course, family, but is that where you feel more comfortable? Well, New York, uh, yeah, well, that's where, yeah, that's where my family is, and I have now a yoga studio there, and no, I love it. And um, the weather, for the most part, we do get hot summers, but uh, it's, I, I'm not very good with the heat anymore, because oh, I yeah. like your menopause and... <laughs> never be ending so I'm always sweating and hot so yeah I like New York most, most I know time. you see and being here in Texas right now the weather is horrible um, I, I grew up here and uh, I hate saying I'm used to it because I'm not but yeah myself I mean as I got older I'm, now I'm like grumpy and I'm like man I you know want to crank up the AC and uh, go indoors but of course uh, but for sure I mean when it comes to uh, movies I mean of course projects everything that you have laid out on your table what are you working on uh, recently well so this is my Officially, I guess my second full year of doing conventions. I really hadn't even done conventions for before this, you know. Right. Um, so I'm kind of new to that. So I'm doing a lot, a lot of shows this year. Um, and then film-wise, um, this is my first year going back into film. Um, I really purposely made the choice to step away from acting when I wanted to raise a family. Um, there are people that can do both, but I wanted to do it 100%. I waited very long in life. I didn't have kids till my mid-30s. Right. So, I, you know, I said to my husband, if we're going to have kids, I'm going to be the one raising them. Yeah. Um, and we were fortunate enough that we could afford for me to stop working. Um, so I raised my kids, and I did a little theater, um, and I did a little bit of, like, a few student films once in a while, but right. I really didn't get back into it. This is my first year getting back into it, and I'm nice. going to be in... Six, six or seven films right now are um, pre-production or production. I just finished up a really amazing um, shoot in California weeks back. It's called The Dead Place, um, starring David Howard Gordon, you know, from uh, Art the Clown. Oh, yeah. Um, and some really uh, great new actors that um, Idris, um, played, he's the lead, Idris the, going to screw up the name, Valley of you you know, if you look up the dead place, you'll find out about it. Yes. And I had just a cameo, but it was an amazing experience. It was a great group of people. I was really happy to be part of that. There's a fan film um, uh, uh, that I'm going to be playing, Pamela Voorhees. So I was like, whoa, you know, that, I thought that would be, I couldn't turn it down, you know, even though it's just like a really small budget film, I'm excited because it's called The Multiverse of Jason. And when they nice. asked me if I would do it and play, you know, Pamela Voorhees, I'm like, oh, dude, of course, because now who gets to be Freddy Krueger's mother? I know, and, I was going to say, that's pretty and cool. And Jason's mother, so, you know, maybe yeah. next if Chucky has a mother, I'll be a little doll mommy. No, I don't know. There you <laughs> go. And then that's got to be a first, though. Yeah, yeah. Wow, first. okay. Does Michael Myers, does he have a mom? If, 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 if he doesn't, he does now, because yeah, you're, you're right? coming, so yeah. we'll definitely put you in there. My little fan. So no, little no, for TV sure. Um, so I'm doing that. I'm doing, um, uh, there's actually a film coming out. It's it's in pre-production right now, and the bulk of the film probably won't happen until next year, but it's called um, Emerald Forest. I'm in it. Lisa, who you yes. have seen, Lisa Wilcox is in it. Mark Patton is in it. Um, so you brought Danny the whole group Castle with you. is in it, and also... Um, Lisa Rose from Sleepaway Camp. She's yes. in it. So it's like a horror film. Who's done it? But it's it's actually not a horror film. It's a 
it's a fantasy sort of movie. It's the um, oh wow. Yeah, it's it's um, Wizard of Oz hundreds of years before, and I play this wicked green witch called Mason. And I'll be all full makeup and you know, unrecognizable. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then uh, then about uh, yeah about oh the crow. Um, there's a fan film, Days of Sodom. I'm, I got a little cameo on that. Another film called Little Red Rosie, another yeah. horror film, um, starring um, Nancy Ritter, who's one of the bathroom girls from yeah. Scream. She's she's in that film, and I'm going to be doing a scene or two with her. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff coming up this year. Well, that's like, cool. I mean, to the film world. yeah. And I was going to ask you, is the return because the kids are older now yeah. and they? Yeah, this see, is the first year both boys. Now, you know, my second son moved out, and now I'm home alone, so nah, I'm well, back in the film. The you show. see, well, I mean, the, the kids are always going to be there, and uh, I just want to say we're glad to have you back because, yeah, I mean, it comes to all these opportunities. I mean, uh, you know, we're glad when you guys jump on them because it's great to see you guys on film again. Yeah. So looking forward to that. I mean, of course, uh, other than the book and fan uh, photos, everything that's going on, uh, I do thank you because I know you got people waiting. But um, anything you want to say before we wrap this up? Let me ask you that. Um, well, thank you, Texas, for having me. I'm happy to be here. Um, I do wish I had more time so I could get to see this beautiful city. Um, and I just want to say thank you to the fans who come out, and I hope more fans will come out tomorrow, too. And we're happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. And um, let the dream and the nightmares live on. No, no, for sure. And, of course, it is Saturday, so tomorrow, for those watching, I am going to post it. Uh, come by Sunday tomorrow and, and uh, participate and jump on all oh, this oh, action. Let me plug my Yes, phone. of course. So, I want to plug this. So those of you who haven't heard, if you are a Nightmare on Elm Street fan and if you're a collector, this is an item that I'm honestly, not just because I wrote it, but um, I really, truly do believe it's a, an item that every Elm Street collector yeah. should have. It's the background story to Freddy Krueger, his birth, even before his birth, Amanda's birth. Um, and it kind of gives a background to the Kruger family. Um, and then, then it follows all the way through the films. It follows, um, you know, Freddy. Well, first of all, you it's, and I've got great artwork from different um, different artists. Oh, nice. A lot of comic artists uh, who, who do for Marvel and stuff like that. But it um, you find out, you know, the background of why the jump rope girls always appear. You find out oh, why wow, Freddy okay. Krueger's... Um, you know, adopted father played by Alice Cooper. Who was he? Why was he beating on him? What, you know, what's his backstory? Yeah. Um, and then there's like some really, really great art. That is some good art. Um, and I it like follows that. all the way through with um, basically following the movies, all the movies, if, you know, that give any of his background um, with, with bits and pieces filled in. Because, you know, there's a lot of inconsistencies if you watch all eight films, right. you know, and just kind of lines them Fill up. Fill in the gaps. And fills in the gaps, and then it takes you to the end when Freddy is killed and Amanda's locked away in the tower. And so, where this book ends is where Nightmare on Elm Street one would begin. Oh wow! So it's the prequel, and they're people that want to make it into a film. So I would get your copy while you could. I sign it, and they they are going to be 400 in the world. And that's it. Already sold. So I did another printing of another 200. They're not going to be a lot of these in the world. So no, no, for sure. Grab your copy if you're a fan. No, for sure. And of course, especially in, they're here in San Antonio. They can come by today or tomorrow and pick one out. Yeah. Get it autographed too while you're at it. Yeah, exactly. I like you that. Pay shipping, so. No, there you go. Well, I do thank you. Of course, I wish you the best of luck. And I look forward to seeing you on the film, on the big screen. All right. Thank, thank you. you.